so hello today we discuss uh, about the some more points some more points some more points uh, of valency bond theory so yesterday we discussed that uh, about the how the bond formation takes place and what the strength of the bond okay direction of the bond now valency bond theory also covers a new concept that is a uh, excitation of electrons excitation of electrons uh, for example uh, in boron so what is a boron it is 1s2 2s2 2p1 so 2s2 means i am writing about valency shell so second shell is the valency highest number shell is called valency shell highest number so valency the last only this last card highest number shell mottam valency shell antam so 2s2 2p1 means p is having three boxes generally so 1s2 2s2 2p1 okay so inner orbital odle inner shell also and outer shell e participate avutadi so a 2s 2s2 2p lo 1 but generally boron forms three bonds okay boron three bond forms is said how it is possible okay how it is possible means uh, the paired electron this paired electron is excited to here now it becomes like this this one one electron so the shifting of the transfer of a paired electron the transfer of paired electrons uh, from one orbital to another vacant orbital and ikkada vacant orbital available undali maybe in some atoms uh, vacant orbitals availability undadu so availability unte uh, the paired electrons are can be shifted can be transferred into that vacant orbitals okay so this is called excitation excitation of electrons and them. so this concept was introduced in valency bond theory so it is useful in a, in the explanation of many compounds okay in the explanation of many compounds it is useful so now we said that the excitation of electron takes place okay for example a boron check system so ikkada boron ki general ga bf maximum compounds lo three bonds form chestadi aithe according to we said that concept uh, single unpaired single electrons are unpaired electrons undali so boron lo unpaired electrons okade undali so boron has only one unpaired electrons so it can form only one bond okay so again i am giving that example so boron configuration 1s2 2s2 2p1 only unpaired bond form chese kabatti only one bond can possible but uh, for example in the formation of bcl3 so three bonds unta is it la possible of the just now we said that this electron shifted to here okay and it means uh, phosphorus is having trivalency and and three bond form this that is called trivalency okay if phosphorus sorry boron having three valent trivalency form this so it la possible and we due to the excitation of electrons the excitation of electron concept is introduced in this theory so what happens in the excitate uh, excitation process means the paired electrons in valency shell this paired electrons in valency shell can enter into bond formation if they are paired first the pair of electrons would a bond of form avachu but uh, before going to bond formation they must become unpaired unpaired avali unpaired ayin tarvata bond of form avali so kavati em chestayi so ikkada vacancy undi so vacancy undi kabatti that electron entered into this so atla so boron can form three bonds okay boron can form three bonds so this uh, excitation of electron is called a position em antam ante so this is called excited state as so a bond form chesukodam kosam therefore they shifted to vacant orbitals my the most point so our vacant orbitals availability undali otherwise it is not possible so vacant orbitals are shift out right? that is called uh, excitation and that po the position is called excited state okay so so what is the importance of this point so the point based is kone we are able to explain the many things okay okay see some examples it explains about the trivalency okay it explains about the trivalency of boron just now we discussed it okay for writing purpose i am like 
writing again need look at trivalency of a uh, trivalency of boron how it is possible for trivalency of boron How it forms uh, three bonds. How it bonds three bonds. Uh, valence shell two electron having one electron. So it is excited to here. Now there is a three unpaired electrons. So three unpaired electrons come, but it can form a three bond. That's why it's called trivalency. Now let's see the other example. So that is the, it's very easy to, uh, easy one. Uh, see the carbons. So carbon K. Carbon is a tetravalency. Tetravalency of carbon. So carbon is a four bond form. This is a concept to explain this. Stuff. So there is a carbon 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So only valency is Okay, 2, 1s2. So, we have right about valency, we have two electrons, we have one, one electron fill up jack, okay. So, 2s to 2p2, so this electron shifted to here, carbon 4 bond form to here, and then 4 unpaid electrons. If it wants to uh, enter into the bond formation, before going to the bond formation, it must become unpaid. So, we have to shift out, now it becomes 4 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, four unpaid electrons, the carbon can form. Tetravalency. In the same way, pentavalency of phosphorus. Pentavalency of phosphorus. Uh, see the phosphorus. What is the configuration? 1s2, 3s2, 3p3. Okay. Uh, 3s2, 3p3. This is 3s2, 3p3. So, this is valency. So before excitation, after excitation, I am giving the electron picture. Uh, CD 3s2, 3p3. So how it forms five bonds? I will mean, take three two complete uh, field on it. You can have three and pick up three bonds say form a charge center. But uh, in the configuration, there is also present 3d0. So, we have 3D0. So, we have 5 boxes again. Okay, 5 boxes. So, 1 electron, this electron shifted to here. Okay. So, now the configuration becomes like this. Now, the electrons arrangement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it can form a 5 bonds, 5 unpaid electrons. If a 5 unpaid vacant diabetol is not possible, if a, it cannot form pentavalence. And again, nitrogen, phosphorus, both are having same type of a valency configuration, but nitrogen cannot form 5 valency. But phosphorus can form 5 pentavalency due to the vacant diabetol. So why it is not fun? Why it is not for nitrogen? So nitrogen can do possible uh, For example, if you take uh, so in nitrogen, no, that is one s two, two s two, two p three. The two d possible level. We know that second law, d orbital is absent. Like third ka three d zero vacant on this. So two p two s two low, two s two, two p three. Uh, it will be 2s2, 2p3 low, 2s2. So, 3 complete epic. Exit organic, there is no vacant diabetals. Okay. If vacant orbitals are present, then only there is excitation takes place and it can uh, extend, it can uh, improve its valency. Okay. Pass press, uh, then valency may improve this. Five of these questions due to the presence of vacant d orbitals it la d okay sorry vacant p one to vacant d one to whatever it is but here nitrogen is not having vacant d orbital directly it can form only three bonds 
but here it can form a five bonds. Okay, this uh, concept is introduced by valency bond theory. Okay, the next important thing is uh, in this valency bond theory is the uh, types of covalent bond. Okay, this totally introduced uh, in uh, uh, valency bond theory. So in Lewis uh, Lewis theory, in Lewis covalent bond formation law, there is no introducing, there is uh, not at all points about uh, this uh, types of covalent bond. Covalent bond is just okay, one type of bond that treated. But uh, valency bond theory treated, it is a there is a two possibilities are there for covalent bond. Okay, so what are that? So what is the need? So how they guessed uh, there is a two type of covalent bonds are formed. Okay, first I will give uh, an example. Uh, for example, if you take uh, hydrogen, so one covalent bond form, there is a uh, no doubt in it. If uh, there is a ox, there is a O2 molecule is formed, there is a formation of double bond. So, octet rod and key, then 6 plus 2, 8 electrons, then 6 plus 2, 8 electrons, there is a formation of double bond. I think a double bond law, so it can sharing of electrons, then sharing of electrons, so two bonds are formed. Okay, sharing of electron, two bonds form, for example, in first bond and then there is second bond and then. So, the first bond and second bond must have same bond energy. Okay, first to be break shade and kenth energy required. Second break shade and the same energy required. Okay, the first form of length energy release and the second form of the same energy must be released if they are two same type of covalent bonds. Okay, in the same way in the nitrogen, nitrogen there is a three bonds are formed. Okay, so actually the we discussed nitrogen manaki total ga one two. 5 electrons, one nitrogen donates 3, other nitrogen donates 3, so it is 3 bonds form out there. So, if 3 bonds kill out there, 3 bonds sharing of electrons, so in a cavity, the 3 bonds must have same energy, okay, same energy of value. But, uh, it, it was observed that, it was clearly observed that, uh, there is a difference in the energies of a, uh, the three bonds, one bond ki meter, two bonds ki difference energy only. So O2 lo two bonds lo one bond energy, second first bond energy, second bond energy is also totally different. Means uh, these values are not matching. If they are both the same covalent bonds, not the same covalent bond, right? the energy released during their formation must be equal. Okay. Uh, bond form and release the energy exactly equal one. break Required energy would have same now, but it is clearly observed that uh, the bond energy of both bonds in O2, the bond energy of the three bonds in uh, nitrogen are not equal. So this makes uh, the scientists uh, nothing but this makes the valence bond theory makers that there is a two type of covalent bonds are present. Okay, so how they divided is. Uh, they introduce a new bond that is called sigma bond. One is sigma bond and here they also introduce a new bond called pi bond. So both are covalent bonds. But covalent bond normally two type of bonds because all covalent bonds between the molecule between the atoms are not possessing same energy. So in the ground bonds two type of create shell and idea out chini and just now we discussed all on the two bonds keep same type of energy level from the sharing of electrons to nine from the oxygen smudge on my but uh, first bond key second bond key both energies are different on it so even uh, even they are both covalent bonds present between the same atom they are having different energies why so then overcome shared energy they give a reason by introducing the a new concept that is a uh, types of covalent bond according to them there is a uh, Two types of covalent bond formation is there. So that is a sigma bond. Next one is pi bond. So what is a sigma bond? So the sigma bond is defined as a. So the covalent bond. The covalent bond formed. Okay. 
by the end down and overlapping by the end on and overlapping of atomic orbitals nothing but orbitals okay and non and overlapping of orbitals this overlapping is also called it is also called sorry straight wise overlapping so straight wise overlapping to form a thing that covalent bond is called sigma bond the covalent bond formed by the end on end nothing but straight wise overlapping of orbitals that is called sigma bond so what is the pi bond means sir uh, so it is also covalent bond the covalent bond formed so we see the pictures of this uh, straight overlapping and this overlapping just i am writing the definitions now the covalent bond formed by the sidewise overlapping by the sidewise overlapping here we must say atomic orbitals orbitals so the covalent bond formed the covalent bond formed by the sidewise overlapping of atomic orbitals is called pi bond so the covalent bond formed by the sidewise overlapping is called a sigma bond so there is a specific differences are there between the sigma bond and pi bond So it is a separate topic, okay? But uh, just we are talking about the total theory. Just we introduce the what is sigma bond, what is pi bond, okay? Next we see some examples. so the examples uh, explains about that uh, valency bond theory the first molecule is hydrogen molecule so h2 hydrogens 1s1 so 1s1 so this is a uh, s orbital this is s orbital of another hydrogen Most mark the same size. S orbital, S orbital. Okay. This is first hydrogen S orbital. This is second hydrogen S orbital. The electrons are like this. So this portion is called the overlapping portion. Okay. So now there is a formation of one sigma bond formed between the two hydrogen atoms. So so first bond formed over between the sigma bond. Okay. So straight over this is called straight wise overlapping means in h2 there is a one sigma this is symbol sigma the bond formed between the hydrogen and other hydrogen by the overlapping of two s orbitals of hydrogen so it can be written as one sigma ss bond means in hydrogen bond formation one sigma ss bond is present okay Let's see the okay chlorine molecule. So what is the chlorine configuration? One is two, two is two, two p six, three is two, three p five. So three p five means p is having three boxes. You know that uh, means uh, five are uh, distributed. The uh, p x two, p y two, p z one. Okay. So other chlorine also having same condition. px2 py2 pz1 okay so ikka deentlo overlap ay possible thi manaki again 
ఇక్కడ కూడా ఆక్టెట్ ఫాలో అవుతుంది బట్ మెయిన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇక్కడ సో ఈపీజెడ్ వన్ ఈపీజెడ్ వన్ వెకెంట్ ఇక్కడ యార్ ఏబుల్ టు సో వెకెంట్ ఉంటేనే దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ బాల్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ వీ నో దట్ సో బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ పి ఆర్బిటార్ వీ నో దట్ షేప్ ఆఫ్ ద పి ఆర్బిటార్ ఈస్ డంబెల్ షేప్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద పి ఆర్బిటాల్ పిజెడ్ ఓకే యూ కెన్ సి పి ఆర్బిటల్ మేబీ పిఎక్స్ పివే పిజెడ్ జనరల్ వీ డిస్కస్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ద పిజెడ్ అన్న ఓకే ఈజ్ ఎ పి ఆర్బిటాల్ so this is the p orbital of another another chlorine so these are the electrons present between them so this is the okay is in the writing pz pz of one chlorine pz of another chlorine so it is also called straight wise overlapping so to the end on the end the end the calcium kaabatti straight wise overlapping end on and over overlapping and so now the bond is formed between the two chlorine atoms so what type of bond how many bonds one bond so first bond always sigma bar okay ikkada p connect and ikkada p connect and so simple it can written as one sigma pp bond one sigma pp bond is present in the formation of chlorine okay so next so we see some more examples hydrogen chloride okay uh, we know what about hydrogen that is 1s1 so what is the chlorine 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 3p5 will add is you are divide it to pxy px2 py2 pz1 Atlantic is like this. So that low. So PZ1. So 3S2. Here it involves IF. What is okay? Same. Here it involves IF. What is it? Means uh, in the formation of HCL. The S orbital of hydrogen. The P orbital of chlorine. Involved in the. bond formation so this is pz of chlorine this is a uh, s orbital of uh, hydrogen now there is a formation the first bond ka vatti kada so h ki cl ki bond form ayindi but what, how many bonds are formed one bond so one so first bond now is sigma bond sigma h lo unna c form ayindi p lo unna sorry cl lo unna p involve ayindi hydrogen lo unna s involve ayindi క్లోరిన్ లో ఉన్న పి ఇన్వాల్వ్ అండ్ దట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్ సిగ్మా ఎస్ పి బాండ్ ఏవి ఇన్వాల్వ్ అయితే గ్రాండ్ సింపుల్ వన్ సిగ్మా ఎస్ పి బాండ్ ఓకే వి కెన్ రైట్ పి ఎస్ బాండ్ ఆల్సో బట్ జనరల్ గా మనం యూజ్ చేసేది బుక్ నాలెడ్జ్ బుక్ టర్మ్స్ ఏంటంటే ఎస్ పి బాండ్ అంటాం ఓకే సిగ్మా ఎస్ పి బాండ్ ఇస్ ప్రెసెంట్ సో నెక్స్ట్ see the oxygen molecule okay it's important one so what is oxygen configuration 1s2 2s2 what is it 2p4 okay the so 2p4 means a uh, four nera divide each one px2 py1 pz1 so this dividing is important one so four electrons kada 2p4 so up to 2p4 manu ela divide cheyalante so first one one electron so one 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 tarvata add cheyalante two unpaired electrons same what about uh, next oxygen no second is also same position so it is also having same so now the overlapping of pz pz 
this is the pz of uh, one oxygen this is the pz of one oxygen so these are the paired electron shared electrons okay dinto the one electron dinto now idi complete ayindi idi complete ayindi okay so complete ayipena man sharing of electrons octet kuda follow avali so octet kuda follow avali ante ikkada okate share chestunte octet raadaniki oka six electrons vastayi okay uh, how to get eight electrons ipudu okate share ayipindi kabatti so all inna ikkada six unnai seven ani inkoka electron raavali so now there is a py is also ready for bond formation this py also ready for bond formation so can ready for bond formation the word why you are easy, using means there have unpaired electrons so unpaired in atomic orbitals easy ga bond form chesthe okay ikkada pz pz and ipada ka mana bond form chesi unpaired electrons nalse ikkada pz py ki py ki choice undi so ikkada pz pz ok sari side wise uh, straight wise involve ayipene idi pz so idi pz okay ఇప్పుడు పిఎక్స్ కి పివై కి పిజెడ్ ఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ డైరెక్షన్స్ ఎట్లా ఉంటాయి దే ఆర్ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ సో త్రీ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ గా ఉంటాయి సో ఇప్పుడు పిజెడ్ పిజెడ్ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయింది ఇప్పుడు పిఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ సో ఇట్స్ ఎయిట్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్ అండ్ వై జెడ్ ఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ అనుకుందాం ఓకే ఇప్పుడు త్రీ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ జెడ్ అనుకుంది ఈ జెడ్ జెడ్ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయింది సో ఇప్పుడు మళ్ళీ ఎక్స్ ఎక్స్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయ్యే ఛాన్స్ ఉంటుందా ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ వైవై ఓవర్లాప్ అయితే అది పాజిబుల్ అవుతుంది సెకండ్ది పాజిబుల్ అవ్వదు ఇక్కడ మనం పీజెడ్ పీజెడ్ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ తీసుకుంటాం సో దీని పర్పెండిక్యులర్ గా ఉన్నాయి సో మళ్ళీ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయ్యే ఛాన్స్ లేదు మీన్స్ ద స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ టైమ్ పాజిబుల్ ఇప్పుడు నా ఇక్కడ పీవై పీవై ఓవర్లాప్ అవ్వడానికి వాట్ ఈస్ ద పాసిబిలిటీ దట్ ఈస్ ద సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఓకే ది సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఓకే అంటే జస్ట్ ఇవి బెండ్ అయి మనకి బాండ్ ఫామ్ చేస్తాయి సో దిస్ ఈజ్ కాల్ సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ నథింగ్ బట్ పై బాండ్ ఫార్మేషన్ పీవై ఆఫ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆక్సిజన్ పీవై ఆఫ్ సెకండ్ ఆక్సిజన్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్ సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ సో దీంట్లో ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఏంటంటే అవి హియర్ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ హియర్ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఆర్ రిటైన్ ఓకే జనరల్ మన సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ అంటే నార్మల్ ఇలా డ్రా చేస్తాం బట్ ఇన్ నార్మల్ మాలిక్యూల్ ఫామ్ లో బిగ్ డయాగ్రామ్ లో నాట్ పాసిబుల్ కాబట్టి జస్ట్ మనం ఒక లైన్ డ్రా చేస్తాం అంటే సైడ్ అంటే ఇది ఇలా వస్తుంది ఇది ఇలా బెండ్ అయిపోతుంది సో ఇది ఇలా బెండ్ అయిపోయి దర్ ఇస్ ఏ ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ బాండ్ సో the bends like this that is called side wise overlapping okay so bas but ikkada mana only a single line to indicate chestam okay this is the pi bond formation now how many bonds are present between the two oxygens two bonds are formed between the two oxygens that is therefore it is o double bond o so first bond is pz pz ki form hai that is n on and overlapping means one sigma pp bond so what about the second bond second bond is formed between the side wise overlapping there side wise overlapping also pps okay here are two lines ka but two bonds ka సో ఈ రెండు ఓవర్లాప్ అయితే ఒక్క బాండ్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది సో దర్ ఈస్ వన్ ఫైవ్ పిపి బాండ్ ఓకే మీన్స్ ఇన్ ఓ టూ దర్ ఈస్ ఏ వన్ సిగ్మా పిపి బాండ్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ వన్ ఫైవ్ పిపి బాండ్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ like see this is another example 
having three atoms. That is a formation of H2O. Formation of H2O molecules. So, what are the conditions of a hydrogen minus one? Hydrogen minus one. So, what about the oxygen? So, one is two. 2s2, 2p4. 4 means we need to split. Now split chain and tell one. Okay, px2, py1, pz1. Okay. So now see this uh, py, pz. They are perpendicular to each other. This is py and this is pz. So both are having 1 1 electrons. Okay. Now here two hydrogens. This hydrogen's s orbital. Next, this is second hydrogen's s orbital. This is s orbitals of second s orbitals. So, this is a p orbital, this is p orbitals. So, this is a formation of H2O molecule. There is no uh, choice of a, a sideways overlapping. So, you can have PYK separate high H2O. A separate S2 link and you can have PYK, PZ. You don't have separate, separate hydrogen to link up in the cover tape. There is a, no confusion. So, one sigma bond formed between the one ox, sorry, oxygen and hydrogen. Second sigma bond, bond is formed between the second, uh, sorry, same oxygen and other hydrogen. You can have, so, in the moment, two same oxygen atoms cover tape, double bond also. You can have one oxygen atom, two hydrogen atoms cover tape. So, there is no formation of a uh, Sideways overlapping. So this is a uh, now we can write uh, so one p orbital. This is s orbital of hydrogen. So it has how many bonds total? Two sigma bonds. But two sigma bonds low. One sigma bond between the this is hydrogen. So it can be written as like this. Means we can write in H2 there is two covalent bonds are present. One sigma PP. Second also, sorry, sigma SP. Second also, sigma SP. So simply we can write uh, oxygen has two sigma SP bonds. Okay. There is a presence of two sigma SP bonds. Next, we see the last molecule. That is formation of ammonia. The formation of NH3. So, what are the configurations of the nitrogen? That is 1s2. 2s2, 2p3, 3 level I split gr, px1, py1, pz1, whatever hydrogen, 1s1, such that how many hydrogens are there, 3 hydrogens are there. Okay, when 3, 3 are ready for bond formation, the 3 are ready for bond formation. So, 3, 3, there is a, uh, no difficulty. So, px, py, pz, so they are having and perpendicular to each other. So, it is somewhat confusing to write the diagram, to draw the diagram because the three are there. Simply we are writing Px, Py, Pz. So, all are having unpaid electrons. And then what about uh, hydrogens? All hydrogens are also having unpaid electrons. So they are also ready for bond formation like this. So this is hydrogen's electrons. Okay. 
so now all these sideways overlapping so sideways overlapping both are combining here px with one hydrogen py with other hydrogen the pz with other hydrogen means three separated bonds okay one hydrogen having bond with the three separate na hydrogen atoms so now so it can be written like this three nitrogens means there is a formation of three sigma bonds okay all of straight wise overlapping all three sigma bonds so with the s orbitals and p orbitals so we can write three sp bonds in ammonia there is three sp bonds are present between the nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms okay next uh, we explain the formation of a uh, so write the formation of f2 in your own words with the diagram okay so formation of f2 so by seeing all these examples uh, uh, we can say there is different type of overlaps are present so at the end of this theory we can write uh, an important note uh, so that there is a different type of overlappings the so what are the possible overlappings so the overlappings order okay overlapping order can be written as uh, c for pp the pp overlapping is having more strong so compared to the sp overlapping so the ss overlapping is somewhat weaker one so even there is a at loss the pi pp overlapping is very less strong means the order of these overlapping is like this pp is more stronger than sp than ss than pp pi bond okay